What's up guys? I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going on a road trip. My sister discovered this place in Ashland, Kentucky called Bentopia, and it's my understanding that this place basically will take closeouts and overstocks and Amazon returns and things like that, and they just throw everything in these bins and then you can go in and pick through and find what kind of deals you want and the pricing is based on the day of the week that stuff comes in so uh, tomorrow is actually the day that I'm gonna go down there I'm driving down to my sister tonight we're gonna crash there and get up bright and early tomorrow morning and get in the store as soon as it opens it's one of those first come first serve kind of things and uh, the earlier you get there supposedly the better deals you'll get but my sister picked up a Microsoft Surface Go down there a couple weeks back for $6. And um, it's one of those things where you're not allowed to look inside the boxes and you're not allowed to pick through anything and open things up before you get it. So you could be able to tell what something is based on what the box looks like. If there's a picture of the item on the box, obviously, you know, that gives you a little bit of a hint as to what's inside there. But in her case, the Surface Go was wrapped in bubble wrap. It was an Amazon return. I checked it out. The thing's brand new and in immaculate condition, and she got it for $6. So I'm going to go down there and see what kind of luck I have, and maybe I'll get some great deals. I don't expect to pick up anything like a Surface Go for 6 bucks, but you never know. I might get lucky, and maybe it'll just completely flop. But... At the very least, it's going to be a fun road trip. This is definitely different than what I normally do here on this channel, but if you like this video, be sure to let me know, and I'll try to make more of these kinds of videos where I go out in the world and hunt for bargains. But I think I've rambled enough, time is ticking away, and I gotta get on the road. The next morning, we were on our way, and I gotta say the drive down was absolutely gorgeous. Though I am cheating a bit here this shot was actually the drive back. And when we arrived, this is the store in all of its glory. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but don't judge a book by its cover. We waited in line for the doors to open, and once they did, I got my bag and started picking. It's definitely best to get inside as early as possible. I found my best deals right away, and the more minutes that ticked by, the more slim the pickings became. I think I got my best grabs easily within the first five minutes of entering the store. And after that, the deal hunting definitely became a lot more of a hunt. To add to the fun of the shopping experience, they bury cowbells randomly in the bins. If you're lucky enough to find a cowbell, ring it, and I guess you'll win a pretty hefty prize. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite lucky enough to find a cowbell. Ah well, maybe next time. Also, based on how much you buy, you'll earn tickets for a weekly raffle. But I just gave mine to my sister. But eventually, I did have to trade in my bag for a shopping cart because I just found too many things that I couldn't pass up. So after it was all said and done, here's everything that I ended up getting. All for just under $140. Alright, so let's take a look here at everything I got in my haul here. This is a Razer Viper Mini gaming mouse. The box is a bit beat up, but let's pop it open and see what the mouse looks like inside here. It looks like the mouse has not been used. It looks like it's brand new. I'm guessing that this is a uh, buyer's remorse purchase and was sent back. I'm going to plug it into my bench PC here and we're going to see if this thing works at all. Okay, so we've got an LED light. That looks good. I'm going to switch over to the bench PC screen and we're going to give it a test. It even it picked up the mouse and uh, it's even trying to install software here. I'm not going to go through all of that. I'm going to assume that all of these buttons work. This thing looks like it has not been used. So yeah, this is definitely a great purchase at $6. Next up, we have this FIII T1X. It's, uh, these look to be like uh, knockoff Raycon earbuds. Um, this has not been opened. It's still in the plastic shrink wrap, and I'm not going to open it um, because I have no need to yet. But again, another great buy at six bucks. This is a smart dog bark control collar. It's probably a shock collar. This is not something that I'm going to use, but um, I don't know if this is actually worth six bucks or not. But um, I could probably get another I could probably get six bucks out of it if I went to sell it next I have this red owl eyes 
HD mini camera. Um, I'm assuming this is a, like a really cheap action cam knockoff. Um, this box is pretty beat up. I'm going to pop this open. We're going to take a look inside and see what this is. Okay, I think this is definitely a return. Um, and it's, wow, this is tiny. Yeah, it's, it's just a tiny little camera. And while we're on the subject of cheap digital cameras, I think I got another one here, just a different brand. Wow, this one even has the uh, analog video output. But yeah, this is, I think, probably the same thing. These companies tend to make a lot of these and just rebrand them with their own branding. So, yeah. Not too impressed with either one of those little cameras. I probably should have kept my money on those. This, I think, is a Wi-Fi range extender. I'm going to pop it open real quick and take a look. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. And here we have another Wi-Fi range extender, this one from Victor. I did a review of a Victor action cam a while back, and it actually was a pretty good little product. Um, I'm going to just open this up and we're going to take a look at it yeah this one is definitely built a bit better than the last one that we looked at got a couple of antenna here the box is very beat up I'm going to assume that this is an Amazon return but if this actually works it's definitely worth the six bucks that I paid for it Time for a mystery box. This is just an Amazon Prime box, um, and I have no idea what's in here, but we're going to pop it open and take a look. This is... What the heck? I think it's a dash cam. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to look this up and I'll put on the screen right here what it is, but I think it's a dash cam. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. Next up, this is a Durgod Taurus K320. Um, it is a mechanical keyboard. This thing is heavy. It is a beast. So a lot of people, a lot of people really like these mechanical keyboards. I'm going to pop this open. We're going to take a look at, at this um, and see what kind what kind of condition it. Oh, it's pretty much new in package. The packaging is a bit beat up, but it looks like all the cables are here with it, um, and the keyboard itself is looks to be in like mint condition. This thing is so heavy. I'm really blown away by that. Here is a Beeman air pellet pistol. This thing is made of solid metal. Uh, this thing is made of a pretty tough metal, and it's pretty solid. Um, and I would assume that an air pistol like this, a uh, pellet pistol, is worth six bucks. Next up, a Depstech webcam, 2K QHD webcam, and most of these off-brand um, Chinese webcams that say 2K are actually not 2K webcams, but I figure it's a webcam, it's six bucks, it's definitely worth that. And speaking of webcams, here's another one. This one is completely non-branded. Um, I'm gonna pop this open and take a look at it. Comes with a little tripod. And it's a ring light webcam. This thing feels super cheap. Um, but it's got like this sort of rip-off design of the like Razer Kio. But yeah, this thing does not feel very well put together. Um, the model is the C72 webcam, so mystery box. So this is a RioLink RLC 4105M. No idea what that is, but Anything with link in the name, I generally believe that that is some sort of tech. So I snatched that up. It says refurbished. Um, I 
Well, there's an Ethernet cable and a pigtail of some sort. It is an Ethernet security. It's an Ethernet security camera, and um, it's pretty heavy duty. This is actually really well built. I'm kind of impressed with this. This is a light. It's a ceiling fixture. It's um, uh, an LED light. Airand is the brand name. Um, 18 watt. Yeah, so um, this is probably something that I will actually use. I will probably put this in my bathroom. I could use a new light in there. I knew exactly what this was when I first saw it. This is a smartphone video rig. It's in its shrink wrap. This is how it ships. Um, it's not been used. I think this is just a, either um, a uh, closeout or a buyer remorse thing where it was sent back, but this is brand new, not been used yet, so definitely worth six bucks, and I will probably put this to use. Here is a TV wall mount on one of those swinging hinges so you can collapse it into the wall. Uh, again, these are nice to have on hand and absolutely worth six bucks. This is a monitor table stand. Uh, this screws into the bottom of a desk and then you've got this telescoping pole here and you can put two monitors on each of these. These th This is pretty heavy. The brand name is Huanuo Juan um, model HNHM4. Absolutely worth six bucks. I can't wait to put this on my desk and use it. Professional condenser microphone. Absolutely no brand name. I have looked all over this packaging and the um, uh, the paperwork inside. I'm trying to find a brand name for this, and I can't find anything that would indicate who made this. There is nothing on this package. The thing is, um, it's <laughs> it's got an XLR cable. It's got an XLR cable. Uh, on the picture here, but I opened this up earlier and this is actually a it's a USB microphone. The mic doesn't feel like it's the mic doesn't feel like it's built too bad. I mean it's not the greatest thing in the world um, but it's got uh, volume control here and it's got like an, an echo knob. <laughs> I'll play around with that. I'll, I'll record a sample of the this uh, microphone and uh, throw it in at the end of when we look at this. But um, the uh, what th makes this thing worth six bucks to me is that it comes with all of this extra stuff. It's got a sh it's got a shock mount here. It's got the uh, boom arm which isn't the greatest it's it's you know it's a it's a cheap boom arm but this is definitely worth the six bucks just because everything that you get so with a little bit of digging around i was able to ascertain that this mic is called a this mic is from a company called bonky it's the bonky m900 um, it's on amazon for 39.98 uh, it's got a built-in echo knob. Uh, the higher you turn it up, the more echo and reverb you have in your voice. This is what it sounds like maxed all the way out. I think it's, it's a little bit silly actually. But this echo knob does allow me to do one really cool thing. Uh, this is my impression of Owen Wilson in an empty airplane hangar. Here goes. Wow. 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 Wow, that was stupid. I've got another TV stand here. This is a tabletop TV stand from Pearlsmith. This thing is pretty heavy, very beefy. I'm assuming there's a lot of metal in here. It doesn't look like this thing has ever even been opened. Um, and this is an actual like uh, table mount. You Here's the base for it. And then you've got the... Uh, 
you've got the body that comes up and then the the mount here if you wanted a wall mount if you wanted this to be a wall mount i'm assuming you could just take this piece off of the uh body here and mount this on the wall but yeah it's never a bad thing to have an extra one of these on hand and at six bucks you can't go wrong mystery box um yeah What the heck? It's a wig cap? <laughs> this is... Okay, so a wig cap came out of here. Um, but as far as what the rest of this is... What the heck is this? Okay, it's some kind of tripod that goes together. Um, yeah, so that slides down in there. And then it's got this ball head. It's got this ball head that goes on there. And I have no idea what this would be for. I don't know what this would go into. If anybody knows what this goes into, um, leave a comment down below but I'm really blown away as to why there's a wig cap with the with this tripod. It doesn't look like a camera tripod. This looks like it's more for like an umbrella or something like that. So uh, yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. I'm thinking that this wig cap probably just got thrown into the uh, in with this tripod by mistake somehow. But yeah, definitely weird. <laughs> We've got a tablet tripod stand here. Pretty self-explanatory what that is. And um, it has got some good weight to it. I think this has been opened and I think this is a return. And our last, our last three items here are from a company called UB size. I kept calling it UBZ, but it's I think it's UB size. Uh, definitely some kind of uh, generic knockoff company. Um, but this name seems familiar to me, and it seems like it's come up when I've done Amazon searches for the kind of stuff that I buy. So that's why I grabbed the boxes that have this name on it here. But what's in it, the boxes are just like plain white boxes and there's no other writing on these boxes. So we're gonna pop it open now, take a look inside and see what we get. Okay, that looks like a cell phone clip. I think I know what this is. I'm pretty sure this is a ring light. Here's a bag. Here's a tripod. Pretty flimsy tripod. And a charging plug. A ball head. It's kind of lightweight, but it's not a terrible ball head. And, yep, it's a ring light. And this is some other kind of quick release mount but does the ring light actually work let's plug it in and find out so it's dimmable and we've got some control of the light color as well. So yeah, okay, that's worth six bucks. Uh, I can't complain there. Here's another box from UB size. This is a bigger box. Let's see what we got in here. We have a tripod with a swinging head on the top here. A 
And we've got another ring light, though this ring light is smaller than the one that we just looked at. And there's also a little box of hardware. All the other hardware that we just looked at for the other one is also in this one, but this one is a smaller ring light. There we go. And I am assuming that it also has, yep, it's got color control. And it's got some brightness control as well. So yeah, another item worth six bucks. And the very last item on my list here is another thing from UB size. I am gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is a tripod and it's just a tripod. And I'm gonna guess that it's a super cheap tripod too. This is super, super lightweight. I would not put a DSLR on this, even though I am guessing the CT50, we're gonna look that up. I'm, I bet that if you look this up on Amazon, they're gonna to try to sell this as a full-fledged camera tripod, and it is not, it is definitely not. You'd be okay with a tablet or a, uh, cell phone or GoPro, something like that on this, but this thing is not very heavy duty. All right, so that was my adventure to Bentopia, and I had a lot of fun digging through those treasures. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. This was my first time making a video like this, so if people like it, I will definitely try to make more. And uh, let me know what you think was the best item I got, and what do you think I wasted my money on? But this video has run pretty long already, so I'm going to wrap it up right here. As always, thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you next time.